Hello, cartoon friends! <laughs> Thank you, sound effects department. And hello to every one of you. I hope you're doing well today. It's wacky character today, right? <laughs> wacky character day! Yep, seems like every week for the past few weeks has been wacky character day, but it's another one today, kind of a mashup as well. Welcome to Saturday Morning How to Draw Cartoons. I'm Dave McDonald, your wacky host here at Corny Creek Farms. That's right, today we're gonna draw, some, well, let's see, before we draw something, let's share last week's drawing that I colored, although it's not so much colored as I drew, uh, used gray markers, and it's a little scary. So if you might be frightened of the red-eyed saber tooth weasel mouse, you might want to close your eyes because he's frightening. Are you ready? Dun dun dun! <laughs> Give me your cheese, he says. He looks awful. Boy, it looks like he just woke up. He's got bags under his eyes. Oh my word. Yep, the red eyed saber tooth weasel mouse. Kind of a scruffy, scruffy little combination character, a mashup that loves cheese. <laughs> and today we're going to draw something. We're going to combine a couple things and create a wacky character. <laughs> Shocker, right? So let's see. Today we will start. Um, should I tell you what we're going to draw? No, I think we're just going to start with uh, some shapes. And then as we get into it, I will share what it is we're drawing. So go ahead, grab your pencil and let's get started. As you know, I like to draw simple shapes first to kind of block out or frame out the, the shape of the character. So this, we're gonna start with a circle shape kind of here. Let's see, circle shape, lightly. I do it lightly because remember, after I'm done, I usually use an ink pen and I'll ink over the pencil lines. Again, this is the style that I draw on if you've been watching my videos. Okay, so the head shape starts with a circle shape and then here we're gonna add kind of an, an oval shape to it down here. All right, and then a big, that's gonna be his head. The body of the characters down here, it's kind of a fat, pudgy oval going this way, right? As opposed to this one that's kind of going up this way. See that? All right, and then his feet, big feet. Just put maybe an oval down here. It's kind of a profile shot, and it's important that it's a profile because of what he's going to be doing. You know what a profile is, right? It's when you're looking at the side of the character, kind of at a, a side angle. Maybe not perfectly profile, but the side view. All right, so let's see from here. I think it's time to tell you what we're going to be drawing. It's going to be... No, not a duck. No, not a siren. It's a rhinoceros. <laughs> you guessed it. Well, not a normal rhinoceros. You see, the rhinoceros has horns, right, on it? Horns, meep, 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 meep. Not that kind of horn. <laughs> It's going to be a horn. It's like kind of like your fingernail material, real hard, sharp. Uses it for, I'm sure, defense mechanism. Our rhinoceros is going to have a different type of horn. So I'll let you think about that for a minute while I sketch out the shape of the head. Like this. He's going to have a couple ears, little tiny ears sticking back there. His eye will, I'll put one eye here and the hint of the other one. Again, not a full circle. So a circle here and kind of a half circle right next to it. Uh, let's see, now if it were a normal rhinoceros, what you would see is kind of a, and I'll just sketch it out here. A horn. You've seen that before. But this kind of horn is going to be quite different. Now just to make it easier and less confusing, I don't need some of these lines and shapes on the inside. So 
so as not to confuse you, I'll just take away some of those lines, make it a little easier for you to see the shape of the head. Okay. This would be the horn of the rhinoceros, right? Let's give him a smile there. This rhinoceros is blowing a horn like a trumpet or a trombone or a French horn. <laughs> And maybe he's not a rhinoceros, maybe he's a rhinoso brass, because they're brass instruments. A rhinoso brass. <laughs> <laughs> What's that overhead? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> we had something flying overhead that was threatening. <laughs> having way too much fun today, my friends. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, we'll leave that horn right there for now. He's gonna be a brass instrument rhinoceros. Here's his body shape that we're using that oval. Now watch, see the back, these two shapes here become one when I use this line to come around the back. See that? They connect head to the body. So that if I erase this now, and I normally erase it at the end, but just so you can see where this is headed. And I think they have little tiny little tails, kind of like an elephant tail. Just put a little squiggly line there with a little brush at the end, <laughs> little hair fur. All right, the, let's see, the, the feet down here. Let's just make them kind of pudgy, large feet. Pudgy, large feet with some toenails. See that and again I normally erase at the end but hopefully this makes it clear now this character is playing an instrument and the instrument is part of his body that horn is a horn so it comes up like this and instead of coming to a point it goes out like a trumpet like that <laughs> and we can even put little accents here to note that sound is coming out of that horn we could even do musical notes see a musical note just a little oval a little straight line a little rectangle if he hits a sour note what you can do is make a a bent note or a broken note <laughs> like that. That's kind of funny. All right, so he's blowing his horn now, just like a trumpet. I'm gonna put the little valves on the top, the little buttons that you can make push down to make different sounds. So his horn kind of has the attributes of a real trumpet. Now he's blowing hard on this trumpet. So he's gotta have big puffy cheeks. like that use your curved lines and he's blowing so hard that his eyes are closed he's like Ugh. like when you take a deep breath and you're trying to blow up a balloon <gasps> right <laughs> little hair on the top and just a little just a little indication of his hand and a arm there in motion right and if you do you have you studied some horn players act real horn players from history there are some really good horn players that have recorded some really cool jazz music have you heard of louis armstrong jazz player you need to check them out these are some people you need to look into louis armstrong how about miles davis yep and here's a good one, Dizzy Gillespie. Yes, and I bring up Dizzy Gillespie for a couple reasons. One, he was born not far from where I'm sitting right now here in South Carolina. He was born in Sharaw, South Carolina, not far from here. Yep, he was a trumpet player, a trombone player, a band leader. And when he played, his cheeks got real puffy like a balloon. You should look up pictures of Dizzy Gillespie. 
his cheeks are just you you won't you'll be amazed at what they look like how much air he's pumping into that trumpet and his trumpet was shaped kind of weird it went up like this instead of a trumpet going straight out his trumpet went up like this horn on this rhinoceros and that's because well the story is that uh, while he was playing on tour somewhere in a in a club that someone knocked into the stand that was holding up the instrument and it got bent and it bent the horn up like this from the main shape of the trumpet so it bent the bell up like this and he thought that it made a pretty cool sound and he liked that sound so they say that from that point on he actually had his trumpets made with that unusual shape bent going straight up and that's another thing you should look up Go look at some images of Dizzy Gillespie and see what his trumpet looked like and how big his cheeks were. And listen to his music. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so there's our rhinoceros brass. <laughs> oh my word, I'm having too much fun here. Uh, where's my, I'm losing track of all my, <laughs> of my instruments, my drawing instruments, that is. Just because I'm having so much fun. I hope you are too. Join, thanks for joining me here. Saturday morning, how to draw cartoons. There's those little valves. You would push those down with your fingers and make different notes, different sounds coming out. Let's see, here's his. His hair. Let's see here. Little ears. All right, and his eyes. Circles. We don't have any pupils to color in, do we? Because his eyes are straining, they're closed, so he can make this wonderful sound with his horn. Big, big cheeks. And you'll see if you look at pictures, Dizzy Gillespie, his cheeks are literally that big. Really cool. He put a lot into his performances. Quite a showman. Plus, you'd be introduced to jazz music, which is quite different from Maybe some of the music you're used to listening to. And that's always a good thing too. Listen to something different. Give something else a try. Who knows, maybe you'll get interested in that kind of music and decide to pick up a trumpet or a trombone and become part of a, a band and play some cool music. Rhinosa brass. <laughs> if I laugh, all my lines are going to be wobbly. Ever notice that? If you try to draw a straight line and you're laughing, it doesn't work out so well. <laughs> oh my word, way too much fun. All right, here's my. I need a thicker one than that. Oh, maybe I'll use my Sharpie. There we go. Fill it in. And then this bent note comes out, maybe hit a sour note. If you've ever played instruments, sometimes you don't hit the right exact pitch, the right note, and it comes out something like that. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> oh my word. The rye not. Uh, how do you spell this when you're making it up? <laughs> the rhinoceros brass. The rhinoceros brass. 
the horn player. Let's do some erasing here real quickly. Clean it up a little more. This was a fun one. Well, I know for me it was. <laughs> I laughed all the way through. <laughs> Did you have fun drawing it? Did yours come out looking kind of wacky too? Does it give you ideas for other characters mixed with musical instruments? Yeah, there's lots of options, lots of opportunities that you could explore. Take any animal and combine it with a musical instrument and see what you could come up with. Lots of fun ideas. Use your imagination. Have some fun. All right, I hope you did have fun with me today. Enjoy drawing my rhinoceros. <laughs> Until next time, I hope you stay well. Be healthy. Take care of one another. All right, bye-bye. Corny Creek Farms!